atheist friends. And so I want to focus on two things. We'll do evolution and we'll do atheism. Not necessarily in that order, but maybe mixed together. One of the fascinating things about the theory of evolution is the development of different sensual organs, one of which is the organ of the eye. And uh, I read a little bit about this and saw a couple of videos. One video where they have these nice looking um, researchers telling you about the evolution according to Darwin and how he was right about the evolution of the eye. And this is a theory for the birds. It absolutely has no sense at all. Let me just explain to you why. In order for there to be an eye, you have to have cells that are sensitive to light. Those cells that have to be sensitive to light have to be connected to part of the organism. There has to be a part within the organism that processes the information of that particular cell. It isn't enough just to say, well, these cells came along and then you develop the nerve endings and then the brain to process the information. I mean, they give you these, these fancy terms of how there are different levels of eye cells in mollusks and they show you the various developments of the strata. What they cannot show you, and it is impossible to show, is that these eyes came from each other because there is no way that one eye leads to another. For example, the ability to have a lens to focus. Again, you have to have nerves that process this information. In the human eye, the lens gives you a backwards image this has to be reformulated in the brain to make you understand exactly what you're seeing, how you're supposed to react to it right side up. When did this actually occur, the ability to process the upside down image? Up until they were able to figure that out, those who had the lens and the eye that a human being has would think things were upside down and wouldn't be able to react to them. The ability of the eye is to teach you how to react and to survive better. This would not help you survive till you processed, till you were able to understand that what you're seeing is really the other way around. I'll give you another example. The ability to see colors. The ability to see colors is unlike the ability of reacting to light. It's being able to have specific sensors for specific waves of a specific bandwidth and being able to discern them. Now the, the advantage of being able to see colors is being able to identify dangers from scenery and then being able to identify food. Now, dangerous things lie in the scenery and they are hidden from view. They're camouflaged from view. Uh, animals have a way of blending in to the surrounding area. That happens to be uh, an incredible, incredible fact of existence, which you say is by chance and I say is by design. But the ability to see a ripe fruit requires not just that you develop the particular sensors, but also that the fruit itself develop the coloring that you could then see. You see, together with the development of the eye 
had to come the development of the pigment in the food that you were eating. And how did this happen? By chance. And furthermore, if you look at the complexity of the eye and see the various stages of development, the particular video that we saw, that I, I, I saw on the, on the internet, has an incredible postulation, which is also impossible. What came first, the eye or the brain seeing the eye? Well, the information they say came first. So in other words, according to evolutionists, you developed an eye without having the ability to process it. Only later are you able to, so you have a vestigial organ, not a, not a vestigial from a previous evolution, but rather this organ is developing before you develop the ability to understand what this organ is all about. That's incredible. It's a theory for the birth.